Okay. It was rough. It was a rough fucking fight. Could have been a lot better. But, you know what? We fucking take it. Thanks for fucking playing, Maylene. It sure was. Everyone is doing well. Uh, we are going to be doing wake split today. Maybe more. Or maybe we'll fucking throw like we did last time. It would be really funny. Solidifies our late game. Yo! Okay, okay, okay. That's actually really good. It doesn't help us for wake. It doesn't help us for wake at all. Um, like we never bring this to wake because it would make our wake plan actively worse. But we fight. We do have Drizzle Pelly. I know the Gastrodon's better in most ways. We don't have a Gastrodon. But yeah, I think we're just gonna get it for the Scorpion. And uh, we have a chance of getting Shroomish here as well. So this has the highest like rate of decent Pokemon we can get. The only issue is we could get Yelpine, which would be kind of bad. I've never seen this thing here before. So... Huh? Wait. <laughs> this thing's only supposed to be able to appear in 1-2. I thought this was 5-6. Uh, okay, Carnivine, I guess. Nice. <laughs> cool. Um, uh, shot this honestly, because it's in the rain. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, an extra comes out. This is a pretty safe. Oh wait, this thing might have flamethrower, huh? Um, I'm actually gonna scout for that real quick. Ice Fang. Okay, that is equally scary, I think. Hmm. I think we just do this. We can take an Ice Fang, yeah. Oh my god, we take that so well. Jesus. Rain Boost of Flame. Listen, I'm just trying to be careful. <laughs> I'm just trying to be careful, mate. We don't need that. Um, I don't know what Nido King is gonna do here. I'm just gonna switch. Oh, that's gonna fucking murder me. I didn't realize it would have earth power. Why didn't I think it would have earth power? Yeah, yeah, punished, I guess. Damn, lol. <laughs> That's entirely my bad. Yeah, I should have I should have predicted um, that this thing had a grand move for Agron. Dumb shit, dude. I feel like sometimes I'm I am like really good at this. I know it's grand type. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm surprised. I'm saying I should have expected it and not been a fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I should have just stayed in and earthquaked. I was worried it would have, like, something that would do a shit ton of damage, and I think I was probably dead to earth power crit there. <sighs> whatever, whatever. Let's see if all that planning was worth it, I. Um, oh right, yeah, that raises my special attack. I forgot about download completely. So that puts me at plus one special attack, which makes this almost a 200% guarantee. That's really funny. Okay, yeah, we, we just one-shot this. Download is nuts. 
Heracross, interesting. I guess it rolled and saw the kill. Um, that just means it wants a brick break, right? Uh, which makes the my like the Milo switch is still just fine. Milo switch is still completely okay. Megahorn crit, highest down just 88. Uh, so I think I'm fine to Moonblast this turn. Nice miss. And this guaranteed two shot, so. Good damage, good damage. And yeah, we are never in, we're never in crit range here, we just kill. Perfect. Nice cute charm, great. So cool, so good. All right, hair cross down, this should be Arcanine. Oh, it might be Breloom, huh? Actually, this might bring in Breloom. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, this is probably Breloom. Um, this would be insane if this wasn't Focus Sash, because Moonblast is a guaranteed one-shot here. Um, this is going to be Bullet Seed. It's either going to be Bullet Seed or Spore. Problem is I don't really have a way... Um, what would Bullet Seed 5 hit look like? Absolutely decimates me. And, like, any crits, even if it were to just 3 hit, would be really problematic, so I don't stay in. Um, I think the right switch has to be Spear Tomb. We just kind of have to pray that it goes for Bullet Seed instead of Spore. Rock Tomb is also fine. I was never faster than this anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, crit never kills me, it always leaves me at 2 HP. This probably see Spore, perfect, I'm Lumberry. I just need to hit, I just need to hit. Click Shadow Ball and just pray for easy wake ups, basically. But this is a war of attrition at this point. All right. It's getting really good damage rolls. Jesus. Okay, so I will have to switch here. Ouch. Okay. Um, does Rock Tomb... Yeah, Rock Tomb has a chance of killing. So it might go for Rock Tomb, it might go for Bullet Seed. It never goes for Force Palm, so I think the play is actually swap into Porygon. Um... The only concern is if Porygon were to get bulldozed. Okay, my, at minus one speed with Choice Scarf, I still outspeed, I still kill a Tri-Attack, so we're fine. And again, it can't Force Palm. All right, Spec Attack up. Rock Tomb, that's fine. We still outspeed this by 10 points.
and try attack just decimates this thing. I went for Thunderbolt. I just risked a crit like a complete fucking idiot. I just I went complete fucking autoplay there. That's entirely my bad. If this if this kills me, I deserve it. If this kills me, I okay. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. I literally just misclicked. Ah! Okay, okay. Um, Arcanine. Okay, um... Problem is, I'm pretty sure this is a random move. Uh, no, it can never Thunder Fang. Yeah, it never Thunder Fangs on me. It never Thunder Fangs. So... So, I think it's safe to pivot Milo, actually. We pivot Milo to bait Thunderfang and then go into Graveler, or Golem, I mean. Because, again, it can't Thunderfang. Heatwave, okay, good. That's max 17%. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Good, good damage, good damage. Um, so now it wants to Thunderfang, that's highest damage. And now we can safely go into Graveler. Or, God, Golem. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we click Earthquake here, and we pray for the one-shot. Okay. This is a roll, this is a roll. It's a 31% chance, so it's not really a good roll. We can probably stay in. I don't think we're dead to Outrage Crit. Or it might he might heal here. Yeah, we're not dead to Outrage Crit, so. Okay, he can't he can't heal because he's in Outrage, right? Uh so yeah. We never get killed by crit. We live at two on all occasions. Cool. <sighs> cool, Arcanine down, this should always be Empoleon. This could be Flash Cannon instead of Scald. Um, and I think if I'm going into Torterra, um, it actually doesn't really matter all that much. So the only difference is Flash Cannon doesn't have a chance to proc my Lumberry. And then it is less likely to try to swagger me. Flash Cannon, okay. That is max 58. Max damage this thing ever does to me in one turn is 58 because it can't crit me. Um, it's either going to Scald or Swagger most likely. And we're going to Earthquake. Or Flash Cannon again, that works too. All right, um, this is a 93% chance to kill. Hit it. Just hit the range, mate. If we don't hit, it's not the end of the world. Nice. Okay. Oh, and it crit. Okay. Lol. <laughs> okay. Um, and now it's just Norlax. Uh, this is not random move. This is always going to be body slam. The only concern is that it could paralyze me. It could paralyze slacking. So I think what I want to do... It never crunches, right? It literally can't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 33 is highest crunch roll. It cannot. It cannot go for anything other than body slam. I'm gonna pivot through Spear Tomb here to guarantee crunch on slacking. Alright, uh, this is a small range. We're probably not hitting it. D 
I'm really close to. Just don't paralyze me. That sucks. Um, that's actually kind of bad. Okay, this is probably restless turn. Um, oh shit. How does Golem handle this? Um, Crunch Crit would always would always kill Golem. How does Milo take? Um, body slam. Body slam crit always kills. And I do no fucking damage. I think I just stay in. I can just stay in, right? Um, it's highest damage. Three crit rolls currently can kill. Can kill me. Uh, actually, now that I'm paralyzed, does facade kill? Is this 140 base power now? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, wait, but I'm choice banded, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's resting. Drop means we can't stay in anymore. It's really bad. <sighs> it probably wakes up this turn, doesn't it? I think it does. I think it's guaranteed. I think we have to. I think we have to risk it with um with Golem. If Golem needs to, I can blow up here. Oh, it's still fast asleep? Interesting. Sleep talk. Oh, okay. Lol. Uh, okay, yeah, we win. <laughs> cool. Alright. Definitely wasn't flawless, but was about as good as we could make it. And deathless is the important part. Good job. Get out of here, Barry.